In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps globe animation slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this uh, globe which I've downloaded from the net. And uh, this is uh, actually a GIF file which is continuously it's rotating. So now when I click, it will show you the first option. You can see you can add the title, detailed text along with the icon. Then comes the second one, the third one and the fourth one. So uh, depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. Likewise, I have created a few more uh, slides with some different color combination. The next one looks something like this. It is more smaller, but a different color combination. And I have made this as a big uh, globe. And the other one is something like this. So it's up to you which slide you need to choose from. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. If you are using the older version like 2007 or 2010, then this uh, uh, you, can, you may not able to do this uh, particular uh, uh, shapes or the graphics. So let's start the tutorial. I'm going to use this globe uh, which I have downloaded from this particular website so you can just go and download this uh, globe uh, GIF file then go to uh, next slide or create a new slide and then go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes I'm going to choose the old shape draw the old shape by holding the shift key something like this and then make sure to align center align middle and then i'm just going to move towards the right side and make sure that some part of the globe should be outside of the the slide area something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can fill any dark color of your choice then go to the slide number four i'm going to select this globe gif file Control c to copy come to the next slide Control V to paste it and put it in the center and you can hold the Control shift key you can increase the size you can see here something like this and manually align it all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to add four uh, rectangles so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle okay maybe this much size till here all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice you can see here i'm just giving some color random colors and then you can change it later on and then hold the control shift key together and drag this down and you can give uh, some different color combination here then the third one again hold the control shift key and then i'm going to give maybe somewhat a uh, different color here and one more hold the control shift key and give some different color combination here maybe i'm going to give uh, this blue and then just for this one i'm just going to increase the size so it looks like this so select all these four shapes go to shape format and send to back so it looks something like this and if you feel that this is not aligned properly then again select these four shapes and then move it somewhat up like this you can see here so the next step is i'm going to select all this press ctrl d to duplicate this one and reduce the size you can see here and bring it this end all right let me just reduce the size okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this one with this one so first of all this one i'm going to make it somewhat increase like this you can see here this one also i can make it touch here let me just bring it down and this one i'm going to bring it somewhat down and this one i'm going to bring it like this here so now this is my the area where i'm going to connect this uh, rectangle with this rectangle okay so let's see how to do that one it's pretty simple but you need to spend some time on it so go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle draw a rectangle you can see here like this and i'm going to make it maybe 
you will hear you can see here doesn't forget about this one whether it is coming here with the, uh, the orange point or the, the orange rectangle so now you have to make sure that this is properly aligned this two this two should be properly aligned shape outline i'm not i'm going to remove the outline and shape will let me just give a gray color now what i need to do is i need to add one area where which is need to connect this one and one area which we need to remove from this so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here like this shape outline make it no outline so you can see here this area i have uh, covered now this area we need to remove it all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert shapes from the basic shapes again i'm going to choose the right triangle and this right triangle you can see here i'm just adding like this and then you can see here this area we are going to remove and this area i'm going to keep it so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate for my later use so select this shape and this shape shape uh, merge shape and make it union so it becomes one shape can you see here and now this shape and this shape i'm going to subtract it so you end up getting a shape something like this all right so it's pretty simple right so the next thing is again go to insert shapes select the rectangle again this shape and this shape i'm going to just you can see here i'm going to merge it like this connect this one again give a light color so that you will not get confused now again this part this part is okay it's straightforward no issues i don't need to do anything only this part i need to add it so again select this one press ctrl d let me just give some different color to this or let me just give some different color to this shape so we will not get any confusion now what i'm going to do now i'm going to select this one and put it here just make sure that this is properly aligned we need to properly align this one it doesn't matter it is gone somewhat here and there there's not a problem i'm going to reduce this so you can see here this is perfectly aligned just make sure that it is properly aligned till this also so now i'm going to select this shape and this shape shape format and union so you can see there's some gap here so we need to reduce the gap here this and this now union it so you can see here we have done this also now the same thing we need to do it at the bottom so go to insert shapes select the rectangle again draw the rectangle so the the top is straight no problem with that and only we need to add one here shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give this color or somewhat darker color so that will not get uh, so you can see here like this and then again i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and so here this side i cannot just copy it like this so what we need to do it we need to rotate it you can see here flip vertical all right again zoom in and just make sure that it is properly aligned and this part also if it is not aligned properly then it will have a problem for later purple later point of time so make sure that it is properly aligned so now this and this let me just duplicate this for the later use i'll keep it here so this and this i'm going to make it a union all right then the last part comes again rectangle draw the rectangle again you can see here like this shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any gray color and then this part i'm going to put it here align it properly this and this or let me just duplicate this again this and this union the only problem you can see here this one i have to reduce this one so again i'm going to choose this one 
give some different color it's somewhat uh, time consuming but once you have done it will have a, a great uh, a ppt ready for you okay and this and this i'm going to this one and this one i'll subtract it so sometimes what happens here is you can see here it is uh giving some gap we need to understand where it is giving the gap let's see that one this and this subtract so there will be some little gap no problem with that one so you can see here then i can reduce remove this one okay and this one i'm going towards making the end then connect this all right so you can see here we have done this part delete this we don't need this one now we need to give the same color here this one i'm going to give the same color here but we have to make it somewhat darker so select this one go to the format shape and you can go here the color more colors and increase the shaded area here so it's more darker here again this color also i'm going to make it the same color again either you can go from here also more fill colors and increase the size the shade area and this one also if you want to keep the same color it's up to you or if you want to change this color to some other color it's up to you for example i would like to give maybe uh, say this color light green color if it is not visible let's let's put some dark green color here and the same color goes here then more fill colors increase the size all right so you can see here we have done this shape and then go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw a rectangle here like this all right so this rectangle should be depending on what the color you're going to choose for the background for example if i'm going to choose the background this color all right so this color also should be the same color here but anyway later on i'm going to change go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here like this maybe you can increase the size further so that it should be visible and like this so now what i'm going to do with this rectangle i'm going to make it the same color as of the background and this one First, let me just send this to back and both these shapes I'm going to send this to back so it looks something like this you can see here all right so once this is done you can add the text to it so to add the text go to insert text box you can just add the title first again make sure that it is uh, using some uh, the contrast colors so that the text will be visible i'm going to make it white any font of your choice you can choose it and if you want to increase the size you can increase it so this the title comes and then go to insert text box you're going to add detail text here and this also i'm going to make it with white font i'm going to choose the font roboto so now this one you can add the detail and the title goes here all right so now i'm going to select both of this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and you can just pull this down or you can hold the ctrl shift key together and pull this down so like this all right and then if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can simply go to the icons and you can add the icons of your choice so let me just choose any four icons for this particular slide so you can see here i'm just going to choose one icon two three and maybe a bulb icon and click on insert this will insert the four icons here and if you want to reduce the size you can make it 0.6 also and then the graphic fill i'm going to choose it white so now let me just put the bulb here the first one this could be the second one and this could be the last one all right
so like this you can uh, make the slide and then if you like to add some basic animation because already the gif file is already animated so we are not, not going to do anything on this one so for this one i'm going to select this and this i'm going to press ctrl g to group it this one and this one group it this again hold the shift key select this one and group it this and this and i'm going to group it and then both of these uh, shapes i'm going to select and i'm going to put it the front and just say bring to front all right then this one also this and this i'm going to group it this and this i'm going to group it and this and this i'm going to group it okay so it looks something like this so now for this i'm going to use the animation so go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to close the format shape this one you can add or maybe a wipe effect wipe effect it should come from right like this or you can give some other uh, uh, options like for example if i just go and go to the more entrance effects i can give some stretch effect also and click ok stretch it should come from right so it comes something like this and once this is done i'm going to copy the same animation effect here so click on the animation painter click it here so it comes like this you can see here and this should happen after previous so now it's very easy i'm going to select this shape click on the animation painter then again this one click on the animation painter and click it here like this i'm just going to do this part and then i'm going to do this part then one by one we need to do it we cannot just do it together so this one with this one so you can see here now if i play the slide it looks something like this all right so this is how it comes and for this also you can do the animation part later on maybe i can just select this one all right and i can make it fade okay and this should come after previous if i play again now so this one you can see here i think there's some uh, shape outline i'll make it no outline so i think this looks more better all right so this is the way you can just create the the globe uh, animated slide in powerpoint